name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ crucified and altus Christus. A meditation in the light of Christ's passion. Jesus is a great high priest who offered himself a sacrifice to restore peace between God and human. He is the lamb that bore the price of peace. None ever before loved humanity and suffered for its sakes like Jesus Christ, neither will there be anyone. Yet there are some saints who try to imitate him in his love and suffering in order to make up what is lacking in Christ's body, the church. St. Francis is one and the first among them. As we pass through this way of cross, we will reflect how St. Francis lived in union with Christ's mission and passion. Let this pious exercise help us to meet our daily challenges, life situations and little sufferings in a fruitful way. May Mary, our mother, who accompany us now and all through our life as she did for her son. Amen. First Station Jesus is condemned to death. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Jesus, the King of glory, the Son of justice, was condemned by his own people in an unjust way. When asked by Pilate, he said, My kingdom is not of this world. I was born, and for this I came into the world to testify the truth. He spoke, yet he did not justify himself, for he knew that upon him was the punishment that made us all whole. There was a moment in Francis' life in the beginning of his conversion. He stood condemned by his own father, but was defenseless. Francis said, From now on I will call God my Father in heaven. And with serenity he pursued his mission. Prayer Lord, help us to perceive your peace of mind and body whenever we are misunderstood and falsely accused. For you defend the defenseless innocent. Lord bless and make us an instrument of your peace. Second station Jesus is made to bear his cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. The touch of Jesus is always transforming. The word of curse is now transformed into a blessed tree. Blessed tree of life by the embrace of Jesus. He accepted it willingly and through it he made for us a bridge to reach the heavenly shore. In his life, St. Francis to fulfill the mandate of his divine master, that is to take up your cross and follow me. And from then on, what was bitter turned sweet, what was burdensome light. He gave up his old way of luxurious life and willingly went to the beggars and those in periphery of whom he looked with contempt and aversion before. Let us pray. Lord, make us love what you love, that we may shoulder your cross with smile. Bless that where there is hatred, let us Show love. Third station. Jesus falls the first time. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Jesus falls under the weight of the cross. The floggings and the ill treatment of the soldiers had drained him of his energy and he stumbled on the way, but not for too long. He mustered his strength and rose to continue his journey. After so many divine encounters and spiritual experiences, Francis firmly began to live for Christ at the rejection, 
a treatment he experienced from his father and friends made him to withdraw to a lonely places, caves and ruined churches. In fact, in his solitude, he grew strong and his encounter with Christ crucified at San Damiano inspired him to strive after the perfection of the gospel. Let us pray. Lord, help us to rise above the contempt and the rebuff of the world. Let us not wallow in the mire of self-pity. Begin to see faith in good things you have kept in store for those whom you love. Where there is injury, let us so pardon. Fourth station. Jesus meets his mother. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Only a mother knows how to console and comfort her child. Her very presence brings a kind of assurance and strength to the child. Now Mother Mary is here with her sinless son. She is wounded in her heart as much as Jesus in his body. Yet she did not comfort him with her closeness. By her silent touch, she exhorted him to persevere and to gain the prize of victory. However, nobler our cause may be, we are prolonged to get stuck upon the way. It is in such moments we need someone to pat on our shoulders, to give us an assurance and encouragement. Francis saw the friars are increasing in number, but to get an approval for the way of life was not at all an easy task. He was humiliated and sidelined. His patience was tested and also sidelined. Yet the Virgin Mother of Jesus, the Mother of our Mother Church, encouraged him always, gave him a pat on his shoulders, and through his perseverance persuaded the Pope to make his way through the world to live the gospel way of life. Let us pray. Lord, when our vision gets blurred, let your love shine upon us. Mary, our morning star, guide us to eternal light. Where there is darkness, let us sow light. Fifth station, Simon of Cyrene is made to bear the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. The word which made the world all alone needed another pair of hands to save it. The Creator received the help of a creature. Jesus accepted the supporting shoulder of Simon of Cyrene to bring salvation to the universe. Francis's conversion was dramatic. The changes made were drastic at times and realistic. In establishing the order when he was in need, God did send the helper to shoulder the burden of a new way of life. The helper was Lady Claire. Now let us pray. Lord, you never allow us to suffer beyond our abilities. You always send an angel to help us in our need. Lord, make us more and more grateful and open our hearts that we to become Simon to those in need. Thus help each other to fulfill in our life your divine plan. To understand than to be understood. Sixth station, Veronica wipes Jesus' face. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. 
love not only covers a multitude of sins it does scale the mountains to ease the pain of the beloved veronica a weak woman is able to reach out to jesus in spite of all the soldiers and executioners with her tender love she refreshes the mad face of jesus and jesus in turn imprinted her towel with his image francis would go round the city wailing that love is not loved it was his great and only concern to make jesus loved jesus was in his heart in his mind in his lips jesus was imprinted in the heart of st francis st francis served the lepers devoutly with all kindness because the prophet isaiah says that christ in his passion was regarded as a leper dispersed so let us pray loving father we repent for the moments we refuse to help those who suffer touch our hearts that in it spring forth the fountain of compassion to satiate and refresh the thirst of christ in the poor and the suffering to console than to be consoled seventh station jesus falls the second time we adore thee o christ and we bless thee because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world overcome by fatigue jesus once again fell on the ground even the strength of simon could not support him but still jesus wanted to complete his journey even though his physical strength failed him his ardent wish to fulfill his father's will made him to rise again to march toward the mount of sacrifice after seeing the ravages of war and tragedy of prisoners the plight of their families francis pressed forward in reconciling men with each other it is in that desire he wanted to bring the crusaders to an end but he was put down by his own fellow brethren humiliated though was in his efforts to establish peace but he never deterred he started his journey to meet sultan and he preached christ who was born to reconcile men with god let us pray lord help us to rise from our past wounds and hurt feelings make us to seek ways and means to forgive and reconcile with those who may find it difficult to get along for it is in pardoning that we are pardoned lord make us understand that it is in pardoning that we are pardoned eighth station the women of jerusalem weeps over jesus we adore thee o christ and we bless thee because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world the single sentence that well described the lord jesus in bible is that he went on doing good this sacrifice on calvary is the culmination of all the good the son of god ever did all through his life he was preparing for this kairos now though he was under the weight of the cross with all humiliation he went through he never pitied himself rather he consoles the women who sympathized with him when he asked he was struck for our iniquities what he asked of is not our tears but a change of heart francis the perfect disciple of the master never expected a better fate he wanted to go through all that jesus did and as he did once he would ask his companion what the true joy is 
In answer to it, he himself said, If in a cold winter night, when I come and knock at the friary, and my own followers despise and deny me, if they refuse to shelter me in spite of my bleeding wounds, yet I accept all these ill treatments patiently, it is perfect joy. Let us pray. Lord, let us never be absorbed in our own sorrows and difficulties, but identify those who are drenched in greater misery. Bless us. Where there is sadness, let us sow joy. Ninth Station Jesus Falls the Third Time We adore Thee, O Christ, and we bless Thee. Because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Jesus drags himself through the steep and stony path of Calvary. He falls to the ground once again when others supposed him to be dead. With much difficulty he got up. This time it is not his physical strength that supported him, but his great love for humankind and his desire for its salvation. Love is his driving force now. Nothing can stop him also. Francis wanted to live Christ's poverty and humility to the full. And he chose the gospel as his rule. And many of his own friars were not happy about such a great deal. And they deviated from his vision. This caused Francis great distress. And he felt his life and mission was utter failure. It is then the Lord told him, Do not be disturbed, little man, for though the order were reduced to the number of three, it will be by the grace remain unshaken. This assurance helped Francis to rise from despair and soon high in holiness. Let us pray. Lord, when things go wrong, when our plans fail and everything seems to upset us, let us not fall in despair, but rise above. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Bless us that wherever there is despair, let us so hope. Tenth Station Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. He was in the form of God, yet stripped of his divine nature and put on human nature. Now the soldiers stripped his garment and made him like a worm, as David prophesied. He was like a silent lamb before its shearers. He willingly gives himself up in order to clothe us all with his divinity and to win for us all the original dignity. While thinking of Christ's passion, Francis' heart melted in compassion. The self-emptying of Christ touched him so much as to renounce all his powers in order to imitate God's humility and obedience. Francis always had a guardian for himself. Though he was a founder of Fry's Minor, he wanted to be driven under the reins of obedience. Let's pray. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make our hearts like unto thine. Strip us, Lord, of all that is not yours, and clothe us with your grace. Make us realize that in giving we receive. Eleventh Station Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Jesus was fastened to the cross with three nails. By his blood shed on the cross, he erased the record of our sins. He paid the price of our redemption, the blood of this immaculate Lamb, Will there be saving, healing, protecting, and blessing and interceding for us? 
And this crucified Jesus is the remedy for all the wounds caused by sin and Satan. St. Francis, along to experience not only the excess of physical pain Christ endured during his passion, but also the great love which made him suffer willingly. This desire was culminated on Mount Laverna when he was impressed upon his body the marks of the passion of Christ in the form of a six wings seraph. Let us pray. Lord, sanctify all the sufferings of our daily life, teach us, make us. Bear them all with love and unite them with your great sacrifice. Bless us that we may seek to love than to be loved. Twelfth Station Jesus Dies on the Cross We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Jesus bowed his head and gave up his spirit. He gave up his life that we may have eternal life in abundance. By dying on the cross, he destroyed the power of death and gave us all new life. By this supreme sacrifice, God's promise and his salvation plan of all reached its summit. Francis called God his Father, all creation for him were brothers or sisters. He always found solidarity with the realities of life. He was hard on himself, but he was a man of tender heart and gentle disposition. He maintained an attitude of peace and serenity towards life as well as death. By calling pain and death his sister, he gave a joyful end note to the song of his life. Let us pray. Lord, take away from us the fear of death. For precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful. Help us to die to our comforts and pleasures through our self-denial. We may give life to those who are less fortunate than us. Bless us that we may understand in dying that we are born to eternal life. Thirteenth Station Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Our Lady received the body of Jesus on her lap, and her heart received one more sword of great sorrow. Any mother would wish to die in place of her loving son. Mother Mary was not an exception. She underwent thousand deaths while she stood alive under the cross. Pretty soon the newborn church will be placed on her bosom instead of her immaculate son. She united all her pains with the sacrifice of her son to make us all pure, holy and true children of God. Towards the mother of Jesus, Francis was filled with an inexpressible love. He made her the advocate of the order and placed under her wings the sons he was about to leave, that she might cherish them and protect them to the end. Out of the great devotion, Francis called her the Holy Virgin, and she remains the advocate of the poor, Mary our mother, the hail advocate of the poor. Fulfill towards us your office of protectors until the time set by the Father. Let us pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Fourteenth Station Jesus is placed in the sepulchre. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. The body of the Lord was kept in sepulchre. He was buried in the heart of the earth. His life was a perfect example of poverty and humility. His passion of his obedience and serenity. Now his passage towards death asks us to learn patience. Wait hopefully on the tomorrow 
where he will emerge like a mighty warrior to defeat death. He is the living God. This Jesus never dies. He will rise to save us and give us peace and new life. No servant is greater than the master, Jesus said. But if you believe me, you will do the things that I do and still greater things because I am going to the Father. Francis was like a merchant going to market with a purse full of coins that is he reached the heavenly shore with life full of good works. He will return with the Lord's blessing, said Brother Elias, the minister general. Francis, the poor man, rich in grace, never forgot his little flock after his death. Even after he had been buried in the city of Vezizi, he began to shine forth with so many and such great and varied miracles. Let us pray. Lord, help us to keep the light of faith alive in us in moments of deep darkness. Open our hearts and mind to the wonders of your saving love. Jesus, Prince of Peace, bless us in this world of conflict and confusion. May your passion, death and resurrection strengthen us and shape us that like St. Francis, a man of peace, each of us become an instrument of peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.